Travis Kelsey's act of rage has Swifties waving red flags high in the air. Is Taylor in another toxic relationship? I don't like your king. Does she need to hit the escape button right now? Is it too late already? Prices, they come with prices and vices. I end up in crisis. Oh boy, Swifties are sounding alarms as they've got their eyes on Travis Kelsey's toxic eyebrow raising behavior at the Super Bowl. Here it is right here. I mean, he really caught him off guard. And you can see Kelsey's very frustrated. A video clip of Travis Kelsey's rage has gone viral. Showing him in a heated confrontation with his coach Andy Reid, Travis seemed to be boiling over what exactly? Well, he aggressively got in coach Andy Reid's face and even hit him. He was really coming over just to go, just put me in, I'll score, I'll score, you know, so that's really what it was. Well, I love that. And as he vented his frustrations, it got so intense that Travis's teammate, Jared McKinnon, had to come in and step in to physically pull Travis away. Coach Reed kept calm though and stayed focused on the game at hand. And he didn't even bat an eye on Travis, who was absolutely raging uncontrollably. I mean, he really caught him off guard. And you can see Kelsey's very frustrated. Travis's outburst came after he was briefly taken out of the game following a scoreless first quarter for the Chiefs. While Taylor was watching all of this happened from her one million dollar luxurious celebrity stuffed suite that included Blake Lively of all people who was cheering for the Chiefs as well. Swifties are concerned though as they believe that Travis's act of rage can be considered an extreme red flag for his relationship with Taylor. But this love is ours. One fan on Twitter wrote the following. Mrs. Lively, queen of healthy relationships, please talk some sense into Tay that Travis's little stunt earlier is a huge red flag. Ooh. Another fan tweeted, the deplorable abusive behavior or anger that Travis Kelsey inflicted on Andy Reid, a much older man who doesn't stand a chance of physically defending himself against Travis Kelsey, is a major red flag. Taylor Swift better run, not walk, to the nearest exit. Okay. And a third one added, he's no man. He's trash. Hopefully Taylor sees the red flags. Run, Taylor. Listen, I get that the Swifties want to protect their queen from another brutal relationship gone wrong, but you're talking about a man who's playing in the most important football game of his life. Emotions are at an all-time high, and he's just been pulled out of the game by his coach as if the blame is all on him for the team's poor start to the game. So perhaps we're reaching a little too far here. Taylor and the coach seem to dismiss Travis's act of rage as there was a clear sense of love in the air when they kissed a million times after the game. Oh, oh I'm talking of course about Taylor and Travis. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's love story playing out on the field. Not Travis and his coach or Travis's coach and Taylor. Although what happens in the locker room stays in the locker room. After the out First, coach Andy Reid addressed the moment, assuring that he had a stern discussion with Travis about his reaction on the field. And in a press conference, the coach said, We talked. I talked to everybody. It's between me and the players. Kelsey and I have a great relationship. These guys are emotional and they want to do well. That's what you see. There's a sense of frustration because they want to do better. And that urgency is going to help us get better. So don't worry, Swifties, your girl is doing just fine, and her love for Travis is unconditional, despite his act of furious rage. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey brought the vibes to the Las Vegas after party. Social media was buzzing with videos of the duo getting down to a techno remix of Taylor's massive hit, Love Story. And all is well, it seems, and perhaps Travis will even hit the road with Taylor and... You know, she's resuming her Eras tour in Melbourne, Australia shortly, so who knows what we'll see. To all the Swifties though, what are your thoughts on this moment between Travis and his coach? Are these potential red flags as concerning as they're being played out to be? Do you genuinely believe that this moment was something completely out of character and concerning for Taylor's relationship? Will this relationship survive to see another day? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.